Today I'm going to give an overview of the Pendo dashboard. The dashboard is composed of modules that provide snapshots and visualizations of your data, allowing you to quickly view and compare different figures. Each Pendo user can create their own unique dashboard to access the metrics that matter to them at a glance. Clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of each module allows you to edit, move, or remove the widget. Editing allows you to edit the name of any module to make it easier to identify. You can also add a segment to many modules or edit the date range if you want to see information on a specific population of your users or date time period. The same module can be added to the page multiple times, allowing you to quickly compare two different segments against the same metric. For example, I have two different versions of the visitor overview module. The first is for all of my visitors, while the second segments on my frequent visitors. The frequent visitors segment I created targets users that have been active six of the last seven days. Clicking move on any module will reveal a textured area in the top left corner of each window. They can then be dragged into any configuration and saved by clicking done in the top right corner. New modules can be added from this corner of the page as well. Hovering over certain modules reveals additional information. For example, the daily, weekly, monthly visitors and visitors per week windows provide more specifics as you hover from left to right. Some modules can be clicked into, like the categories and browser usage. Clicking into Chrome gives me the breakdown of which versions of my visitors are using. I can then return to the original page by clicking back to browsers. There are countless possible configurations for the dashboard, so start playing around to see what works for you. Any questions you may have can be directed to support at pendo.io.